Let's do it. Hit my mark, the bar just wasn't big enough. <clears throat> Money.
Stack wedges. Words of wisdom, Danny. Just stay alive. <laughs> Just stay alive. No, Danny's gonna show us some swinging the trees. He taught me that a few years ago. The few hours we cut together. <laughs> we gotta make so notice right here how this tree is leaned up the hill hard. Danny's gonna look down the hill and uh, 
he's going to swing this tree around. Now, what he does that you can't really see on camera is he makes his first initial cut all the way around into uh, underneath of the weight of the tree. And then he does not match his face cut up. He puts his face cut where he wants it to go. And uh, you'll hear him talk about throwing or sitting down in a pocket well making your first cut all the way underneath the lean uh gives it a pocket to sit into and then once you come around with your back cut it starts releasing and your tree will sit in that pocket and then it'll go to where the face cut is and then it'll bust off and go the direction of your face cut uh, he's gonna open up a hole right here and then he will uh, go back to that tree but he does it on a couple trees <clears throat> maybe uh, this week I will uh, find some trees like that and uh, explain it better on camera but it, it goes against the rules of matching up your face cut or your cuts on your face cut Anyway, I'll uh, get back to you when he starts making those cuts. What you doing with this one? Huh? What are you going to do with this tree? Get you to go back that way. Yes. I'm just worried about what that little whip in there. Oh, gotcha. It's underneath the limbs. So it shouldn't, you know, flop around, but as long as we stay right about where you're at, I guess it would be okay ish. It just, it might, it might break that fucker out too up there. Yeah. But. I'm gonna try to get it to not cross everything and swing it around. Yeah, no, it won't. Yeah. Okay, so right here, he is gonna cut in and bring his bar all the way around underneath the weight of the tree. Notice how it's leaning uphill. He cuts all the way underneath the lean and then with his face cut he uh does not match up his lines with that first initial cut so there he just cut his face cut out now he brings his bar all the way around and cuts real close into that hinge wood and that allows that tree to start sitting down on it the weight of the tree to start sitting down in that pocket he talks about and this tree ends up going downhill and it was leaning hard uphill. He doesn't like to use wedges when he doesn't have to. Notice he only packs two wedges on him. He always says if you need more than that, you just need to let the tree go where it's gonna go. But he just keeps tickling this tree and it finally starts going over. He keeps that hinge wood closest to him keeps that post right there it's pretty amazing what he can do with the tree he's swung some trees clear around 180 without a wedge there it goes pretty amazing stuff uh, he uh, does it here on another tree I'll uh, interject again when he uh, does it you can see these cuts a little better on that other tree How many years you been cutting, Danny? Oh, probably, probably six full time. But before that, I cut, I cut a little bit here and there. Set a lot of fucking chokers. Yeah, Danny's been around logging for most of your adult life, huh? Yeah. Dropped out of high school and fucked around for a long time. You know, my friends are at school and shit and at work. 
So I fucking got a job logging and took, took to it pretty natural. It was pretty fun. So I just stuck with it. Beats an office job. Yes, sir. Every day. Just do what I want. Work by myself. That's why I love it. Okay, notice right here when he moves out of the way, he put three relief cuts in the face of this tree versus a face cut, and then he explains why he did that uh, here in a few short clips. But yeah, just the knowledge this guy has, it's it's fun to quiz him on, you know, why he does certain things and learn. So anyway, uh, we'll listen to him explain why he does it. Now he's he's a logger. He's got. <laughs> He's got some cuss words. So on that one little tree right over here, you put them three cuts in there. Why'd you do the three cuts versus a uh, face cut? Just cause, I mean, sometimes, the only reason I did three that time was cause I knew I was gonna push it. But for the most part, if them little ones, if I know where they're going, just two real quick cuts in there so it's got some relief. I mean, it could, it's just as good as a face cut. Them little ones, I mean, fuck. It don't bother nothing. You could put a couple little face or a couple little notches in it, and it's easier than you know trying to have your shit all meat. I mean, you'd be pretty surprised. Like a lot of a lot of my stumps, you know, they're not perfect, but if you make your cuts right, these fucking things they'll do whatever whatever you want as long as you do your cut right, and your stump will look ugly as shit. I could be on downhill side and cut one at an angle. And as long as you read the tree right and make your cuts right, it's gonna do what it's gonna, you know, what you want it to do. You just gotta, you just gotta know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Words of wisdom. See, like this one, it wants to lean, it's kind of leaned up that way. But if I cut all the way in and get underneath the weight, and then I make my undercut where I want it to go, as soon as I start cutting on this back piece, that sucker is going to lean right toward where it already cut. And it's going to sit in that pocket. And then the only other spot for it to find relief is that way. And you start tickling that backside, and it's going to swing around. Okay, right here is what I'm talking about. His undercut, or his first cut is all the way around underneath of that, the weight of the tree. And his face cut is angled. His lines do not match up from his first cut and his face cut. But watch the tip of his bar come around, sits in that pocket and swings. That's what he was just saying, you know, get under that weight, make your first initial cut and then aim your face cut where you want it to go. Your lines do not have to ma match up all the time. Um, you know, just this little bit of knowledge is is it goes a long ways, you know, versus banging your guts out with wedges and stuff like that. So uh, when I'm on the stump, I'll uh, explain it a little bit better and do a video dedicated just to that. So stay tuned for that. Well, it took me about 10, 15 minutes, cut this up, threw it in back the truck, a little bit each night. Have enough firewood for the winter. I'm gonna try getting up early and cut some firewood. Uh, before work starts So yeah, nice tamarack my favorite over and out